Good morning, ladies. Today, I wanted to talk to you about um, this collection that we have. It has been out for a little while, but it is a wonderful collection with some fall colors in it. And it comes with this little cute bag. So, it comes with four products. Let's see. Uh, two eyeshadows, a lip color, and it comes with a gloss. Okay. We will, uh, I will show you how I use these. And the first one that I'm going to use is called Oat Milk. And then I will follow that up with some hot chocolate, which is, you know, getting you ready for the cold months. And then our lip color is called Cold Brew. And then the gloss is called Honey Latte. So, um, let's put that to the side. That one is a brand new one. I have one left in stock, so um, these are $100, and if you order, whoever orders this one will get 15% off um, on this one collection. So, okay, uh, like I said, I'm going to start with the oat milk. It is a kind of a neutral um kind of flesh color almost if you're a little bit darker and what I do is typically just put some on my eyes these are cream to powder uh, shadows so um, they are really easy to apply and what I do is just Put this all over my lid up to my brow and from my lashes. Kind of just gives you a base if you have um, veins in your eyelids. Some people, you know, as we age, um, we kind of, a lot of things happen. But um, we do kind of get our veins start showing. Let me get just a little bit more right up here. And you have basically about a minute or so, uh, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes, to play around with the shadows until they set. And once they are set, they will not budge all day. So however I look, when I get through here, is how I'll look when I take it off tonight. So, um, then I'm going to go in with the hot chocolate. And I'm just really going to build this up to the color that I want it. Because, you know, it is a darker color. It is highly pigmented. All of our shadows are um, very pigmented. And I'm just going to put a little on there. Get me a brush, kind of clean it off, and just kind of blend it in. Okay, so, um, you know, as we get older, we kind of get, like, hooded eyes. They kind of get a little creepy. So, what I normally do is when I'm doing my um, shadows, you kind of pick it up and bring it over. And if you do have a hooded eye, you kind of want to go up above your crease because otherwise you're not really going to see the shadow. Let's see. And... I'm going to put some down here in the corner. Okay. 
Now you don't want to put any darker colors over here. Um, that kind of just makes you look a little mad. So um, you don't want to do that. Um, here, put this there. And remember you have basically a minute or two to kind of play around with them. And you can always just take your finger, kind of blend it. Now with these cream to powder shadows, one good, um, well, there are so many goods about the cream to powder, but you're not going to have that fallout that you would have with um, the powder where, you know, sometimes you'll get the powder flakes right here under your eye, but you don't get that with this. Okay, this is my shadows. And normally when I get that done, I go in with the darker color and just run it in my lashes, kind of like an eyeliner, which we do have really good eyeliner pencils like this. And they go on just like butter. But today i just decided i wasn't going to do that and i just put this in normally when i do the pencil i will go in my waterline and um put that in there you know you just pull your eye down and just go in there and i like the way that looks but today we are just going to go with a little color there okay and you know the name of my business is called glitter and shine so I have to put a little bit of shimmer right here in the corner this one is not in the collection it is called sandstone pearl shimmer which is just a very light kind of sparkle but um where is my here you go okay um it's just going to give it a little shine not anything too drastic give you a little light there kind of like a highlight and put a little right there in the corner and that I probably should have just done one uh go to save some time for you so you wouldn't be here just sitting and wa watching me okay here's that and hope that doesn't roll off There's that. Whew. Um, okay. Now, I am going to use our blush scents. comes in these cute little airless pump bottle. You see the floor of it is, it was right here. And, you know, you get all of the product because it just kind of vacuums it up as it goes. And these last, let's a long time because you really only use just a tiny bit when you're using them and I like to add just a little pearlizer with it and the pearlizer is one of our foundations and it is a you really wouldn't want to wear it as a foundation because all it is is um, kind of a pearly highlighter and that's what we mainly use them for use this one for um it 
Now the Make Sense Foundation, we do have a foundation that our um, founder set up for um, women and children in need and a, pro, a, a portion of the proceeds of the all of the foundations, even the Pearlizer, a portion of it will go to that foundation. So, you know, you're getting something for you to make you look pretty. And then also a portion of what you spend goes and helps women and children in need. So that's a win-win. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just mix this together. Put, oh, probably went a little far on that one. Put it on there. Put it a little over here. Maybe a little more. Okay, and all I do is kind of, here lately, I've just been using my finger. Kind of makes it look a little more natural. Like that. Now this one, this color is called Chocolate Cherry. And... I like it more in the fall. Normally, um, during the spring and summer, I will use like toasted rose or something pinky um, like that. A little bit more. So, we all need some little color in our cheeks. Yes. Okay. And there is that. Now, um, on our mascara, I do like to curl my lashes. Just a little. And I will be using our primer. The 3-in-1 primer. It is called Undersense 3-in-1 primer. It conditions, it strengthens, and it actually has a um, ingredient peptide in it called Capixel, and it does help your lashes grow up to 46% in, I believe, eight weeks. And who does not want long lashes? And we do have the uh, lash extensions. Um, our company joined with Lashify and uh, created uh, a line of extensions for our company. But... Um, for me, I just like our mascara, personally. Now, also, tip, always replace your mascara and your uh, primer every three to four months. You do not want to use them longer than that. Um, you can Google what grows in your mascara if you would like it's not pretty they're called little mites and um, it could cause eye infections and uh, eye irritation and you do not want that so now this is just going to turn your lashes a, like a little beigey tan color and we're going to let that dry for just a few minutes and then we'll go in with our mascara now the capixel that um, is in the primer is also in our mascara we have one that is waterproof and then we have one that is humidity proof um, if you are like have watery eyes, allergies, 
you probably would want the waterproof. It is a little harder to get off at night, but it will stay fresh all day long if you have watery eyes or, or you cry a lot. So um, that is the one I'm gonna use today and because my allergies are bothering me. And this one is humidity proof. We live down here in Texas where it is like, you know, the summer it was like a hundred and something, almost every day for several days. So um, this one, I, I wore it a lot during the summer and it did not budge. I, ne I have never even either one, I have never had it run or uh, flake or anything like that. And we do not have fibers in our mascaras. Okay. Um, now, while that has, and I'm sure it's dry now, um, but I'm going to go in with our lip scents. Always remember to shake it. Okay. And you want to do three thin layers. Always take off the excess there. And what I do is outline my lips and then go back and fill them in with the same color. Um, some people use maybe a tad bit darker color to outline and then fill in with a lighter color. But I typically just use the same color. So, and I'm not going to be talking during this. I'll try not to because it will, um, it does get tacky. And here, yes, the outline. It's hard for me not to talk. Oh, my goodness. Now, that is just the outline. Now I'm going in with the first layer. Always go in your waterline. One, two, you had to do that. Send a slurp. Okay. And let that dry. And we'll go in the gloss. Now, uh, I'm going to go with our mascara, and see the wand is a little fatter on this one. The wand is a little skinnier on the humidity. <laughs> humidity proof. It's kind of hard to talk. Okay. 
and you can build it up. I'm gonna have to put some gloss on and make it thicker if you want. I don't know if you can see that. See how long my lashes are? Got a little up there. Okay, let's finish this on. Put some gloss on. And this one is called Honey Latte Gloss that comes in the uh, collection. So, and it kind of dullifies your softenings or whatever you want to call it. color and you want to make sure you get all of the corner and the outline of your color and this is our translucent powder you can see it is white um, it is, our skincare is in it, you know, you cannot beat that. Our skincare is in all of our products, except our liquid products, like the, um, liquid lip scents, the liquid lip liner, um, liquid eyeliner, anything liquid, um, our Cineplex Complex is not in it, but... Um, it is in all of our other products. Uh, see, oh, I was looking for a brush. Duh, went the wrong way. Okay, um, it comes with this little lid here, and then you have the top, and then you pull it open, and you just, it has a little sifter in it. I always tap it off onto the lid and what this does is it'll um, kind of blurs your um, shininess and it has um, very finely milled uh, kyle and clay in it and it will absorb any oil that you have so if you do have oily skin, it will absorb it. Okay, let's set that down. And I was going to show you our lip scents. All you see is the Honey Latte um, gloss. So, um, Lip scents will not um, transfer, will not budge, will not smudge. Um, it is good for up to 18 hours, depending on the person and their pH balance, um, size of their lips. Um, just depends on person to person how long the wear you get out of it. We do have a hydromat, and there's one of them. Uh, this one is called Velvet. And you will get, they say up to six hours. Sometimes I get like eight, um, depending on the color of them. And this does not require gloss. It is a one swipe shot, um, and then you're out the door. So uh, if you like a matte lip, then you're you would probably like our hydro matte. But if you do like the gloss, um. The lip sense is awesome. 
Um, I do wear it probably more than I wear the Hydra Matte, but I do like the gloss. So, um, it just, it feels so good on my lips. So, um, that is all I have for today. And I hope all of you have a wonderful and blessed day. And if you want to take advantage of our the last one that I have or you can go online and um, purchase it you can join our kiss and tell um, rewards program online and get your 10% off um, each time that you buy something you would get if you buy over a hundred dollars you get I think free shipping and you also build up points for future products um, purchases so but this one whoever calls me first or reaches out to me first um you'll get 15 percent off of this one i believe that's what i said so anyway i only have one so um shoot me a text email or um comment below and i hope y'all have a wonderful day and um until next time, have a blessed one.